Hi everybody, we're here at Content Marketing World 2018 and I am super excited to be sitting and chatting with DeWitt Jones, who's gonna be one of the keynote speakers here and a world-renowned photographer. One of the things that you have said that I absolutely love, it's just such a key part of storytelling, is that you're, this idea of looking at the ordinary and seeing the extraordinary. That's the moment of creativity. To me, that's all creativity is, that moment where we look at the ordinary, but what we see is extraordinary. And we do that when we fall in love with ourselves, with our spouse, with our family, with our job, with our clients, with our customers, with our country, with our community, with, with the world. If you want to be creative, you've got to believe that there are a lot of answers. You've got to believe that there's an extraordinary view out there. And then, then you just begin to explore. And the thing that is really fascinating is that usually the difference between a good frame and a great frame is that much. Yeah. You know, right. you're, you're taking a picture of somebody's face, they turn, eye moves a little bit, yeah. the, the mouth turns up, and you've got it. Right. So it's, it's just being open and very sensitive to what's around and believing that that next right answer is out there. They'd send me out to places I'd never been. I believe there would be beautiful landscapes to photograph. They'd appear. I believe those landscapes would be full of wonderful people. They'd be there. Celebrating what's right with the world. It was a vision that had purpose and passion for everybody in the organization. Do you have a vision like that? For yourself. For yourself. A vision that you could distill down into six words. You know, your own private bumper sticker. A vision that every day when you got up and said those six words, you said, yes. Yes, that's why you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Because when the vision is clear, when the vision is simply juicy enough, then passion and creativity are there as well. And when passion and creativity are there, discipline and commitment are non-issues. How do you figure out, you know, if you're open to these new, you know, extraordinary experiences and they're just not coming. First of all, if you've done it for a while, yeah. you know you'll go through this, Yeah. right? When you first start out and hit that kind of thing, you go, oh my God, I'll never photograph right. again. So you know, you just sort of don't know how long, right. right? And as a pro, just like you would as a writer, I have certain kind of things that I can do, certain kind of setup, certain kind of looking that I know will give me an adequate product, yeah. not a great product, right. but an adequate product, right? I know how to move the lens, I know how to set the lights, I know how to do it. So that that gets me in it, yeah. gets me working, and what you have to make sure you don't do then is you don't just end there. Yeah, You know, that's just to get you back in the game. When the great photographer Minor White would go out to photograph, he would never say, what will I take today? Rather, he would ask, what will I be given today? And I would add, will I be open enough to recognize it? By celebrating what's right, we find the energy to fix what's wrong. As Michelangelo once wrote, I saw an angel in the stone and carved to set it free. I saw an angel in the stone and carved to set it free. So I'd, I'd had visionary teachers and mentors. I'd been shown passion and possibility. But as everybody in this room knows, you can't just live it through others. Eventually, you've got to make it your own. Eventually, you've got to move from imagination to imagine action. I mean, I'll shoot 50 to 100 shots a day just to keep wow. my chops up. Wow. I'm just playing. I went for a walk yesterday uh, before dinner and shot 50, 60 photographs. It didn't matter what they were of, right. just things that moved me, just play. Right. And play is an is a incredible way to be creative, yeah. where you're not, you have no goal. You're right. just, no expected you're, no output. Expected outcome. you're yeah. just playing with it. Yeah. Uh, and you just, as we were talking a minute ago about improv, you just keep saying yes. Yeah. You just keep saying, well, what if I did this? Oh, that's cool. What if I did this? Oh, that messed it all up. What if I did this? You know, right. and you're just playing and, and, allowing yourself to go down paths that you never would have thought. It's your boat. It's your river. You're on it every day. So will we do it? Will we live with purpose and passion and vision and values? Will we open our eyes to an extraordinary vision? 
David Harvey at the Geographic said, don't shoot what it looks like, shoot what it feels like. I love that. Right? Yeah. So that so that when somebody looks at it, they go, whoa, you know, if something happens. Seize the day, my friends. Seize the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.